again everyone my name is Marsha and welcome to my channel if you're new here I'm so glad you're here if you don't know me I am a mostly wet media artist from the DC Northern Virginia area today I am sketching out in my backyard flower bed as usual I'll be using my henna mule watercolor sketchbook in a5 portrait and my St. Petersburg White Knights watercolors. Towards the end, I use some water-soluble pencils that I got in last month's sketch box. Of course, I'll put links to all those below. So the other day, I had a little bit of time before I had to leave, and I was desperate for something to draw. Since I didn't have a lot of time, I couldn't really leave the house, so I decided to search around in my backyard. Then I quickly realized that since it's the end of the season, everything is dead. I just kind of let things go, and I guess that's the way it goes in September. Things start to die, and we're getting ready for fall. All my flowers are dead, pretty much, so... It's weird because there's a lot of beauty left in the dried up flowers. I have this sunflower that my sister-in-law gifted me. And whenever it was in full bloom, it was so pretty. It had tons of butterflies and bees on it. I ended up doing a gouache sketch of it. I don't think I did a video of it, but I posted it in my, on my Instagram. So I thought, why not continue the story of this sad sunflower at the end of the season? And it's all dried up and dead, but it's still pretty. I edited this video I probably should have filmed it from the other side so my hand wasn't blocking what I was doing most of the time but I guess you live and learn so next time I'll do a better job <laughs> the fall colors to come out. It's my favorite time of year for vision, you know, visually anyway. Plan on doing tons of videos for that, just like with autumn leaves. It's my favorite thing to paint. They just look like watercolors on their own. So to actually paint them in watercolor is so easy. <laughs> I'm so glad that the weather's getting cooler too. I. I love summer and it's time, but by the end, I'm so done with it. I'm ready for long sleeves, for hoodies and long pants and my boots. I miss my Doc Martens so much. But of course, living in Northern Virginia, it's hanging on a little bit longer. I think next week it's supposed to go into the 90s a couple times, but overall it is a little bit cooler in, around in the 80s. times I just want to find something to draw and I have no idea what it's so hard to get past that barrier but honestly there's a million trillion zillion things to draw like everything that's in front of your face and even if it seems boring I encourage you to try to draw it anyway for so many reasons um, it obviously it's practice it gives you that pleasure of creating the process is so great, and then whenever you have something done, you feel so satisfied. And it's just so weird how some of the most boring things, when you see them with your own eyes, you're just like, this is the worst. Why would I want to draw that? But once you put it onto your paper and turn it into an artwork, it changes, and something is so charming about it. It just looks like beautiful. I, I don't know how else to describe it. And it I love sketch journaling because you can do that and then it's really great to sometimes write your thoughts, write the weather, 
the time, you know, the temperature, how you're feeling, you know, what you smell and see, which I actually didn't do this time. I just drew the picture and I ended up doing a sketch on the next page of something else. But you know, it's totally up to you. That's the freedom of the sketchbook. It's, it's just totally yours and no one can tell you what to do. <laughs> I love that. So this simple thing that normally I would just see and pass up, now this moment will be engraved in my mind forever and I'll never forget it. And every time I flip through this sketchbook, I'll think, yeah, I remember that summer when I had that particular sunflower and how beautiful it was and then how I felt at the end of the season and the anticipation for fall. So thanks again for watching everybody. I really appreciate all my friends and family who stopped by and the new people who have been subscribing. I'm so glad you're here. Don't forget to check out all my links below. Join me on social media, Facebook, Instagram, and all that jazz. Of course, I have an Etsy shop with uh, a lot of my creepy cute pieces in there. I make zipper pouches and uh, postcards and I have enamel pins all kinds of fun stuff if you find these videos helpful or enjoy my content I would encourage you to also join me on patreon I have tiers one dollar three dollars five dollars ten ten dollars five dollar is a sticker of the month club you get the videos that I post um, sneak peeks and a sticker of the month mailed to you every single month. So I would love and appreciate if you would support me in that way. Thanks again for watching this video. Again and again and again, I love you all so much. Have a great day.